Life is scary. It's unpredictable, it's tragic, it's unknown, but as humanity grows more and more to the future, questions over time stop coming into mind. Hi, I'm Ryan, and today we'll be visiting the magical shrunken world of Grounded's Garden to talk about how the game makes you feel like a kid again. With the world that we're currently being forced to live in, it can be hard to remember once you become an adult how to view your surroundings through viewing everything in a light of curiosity. Uh, anything I was curious about, I'd simply just go and do it. And if it got me hurt or I cried, I'd normally go back and cry to my mom about it and she'd always make me feel better. But upon coming to the age of adulthood, it's, it's hard to get the same craving for adventure to go and explore what's really out there only to realize that the common thoughts I personally get when thinking the way we normally are oh but I don't have enough money to travel to another country to explore the culture or I don't have friends to go to a club and bar to meet friends at a club and bar being an adult is understanding no matter what you do or any or on any kind of adventure you go on, you will be lonely no matter who's around you, no matter who or how long you hang out with someone. It's gonna end, no matter what, right? So why bother enjoying things as an adult? Why strive to be anything or be someone special, you might ask? I think personally, we just forget how beautiful things actually are around us, and instead, we simply talk about the more depressing things and people nowadays post things that get the most clicks, which as human beings, it's mostly negative or to do with just money, power, now more than ever. But what if I were to tell you the world around us, no matter what we do, will always continue to keep going even during all these hard times. If you weren't here, it'd still keep going. It's easy to give up or on our dreams because no one will come to help us. No one is going to help us. We're on our own. Our dreams will be put on over and over again until we do give up. Even the most amazing people on planet Earth are still just people, and so are you and me. I'm okay with being average in every way. There is beauty and simplicity, but sometimes we just need a break from life, and the little world of Grinded has us covered with that. And personally, it's not only a beautiful game, it's a masterpiece in its visuals, audio, and art style. It's so unique. Grounded. It's a game that for most people will just fly under the radar and has for quite a while, only for them to never hear about it. But today, Grounded, I'm gonna tell you about it. Grounded, in case you don't know, is a game where you play as a kid who has been shrunken down to the size of smaller than a piece of grass. With no idea how you arrived in the garden as a kid, you've, your first thoughts in this situation might be, uh, how the hell did I get home? Where are my mom and dad? Wait, are there bugs? Yeah, yes to all those things. <laughs> but what you'll notice straight away is that the smaller world below our feet that we live above every day and ignore has a whole world of its own. A layer we can only view on the outside. Grounded as a game lets you experience the, that firsthand. And I think that's what's so cool about it. What it might be like to live the life of a tiny little insect. And from the outside eye, most people would consider insects disgusting or pests or just plain old horrible creatures that need to burn off the face of the earth. But however, this world lets you experience first how just how each creature would most likely function and be up close and personal with them. Now, of course, not to a d realistic degree, it's still got its art style, it is still a video game, but with so much different creatures, like wandering around the garden you encounter, many different locations to visit it could just become, like, explorable. There's so many different locations. You just need to look around the garden to find them. And looking around will literally give you the inspiration to want to. But this game does an excellent job of making you think, what else is out there? And I think after I've played 200 hours of Grinded, I'm still finding areas I've just walked into for the first time. For example, 
during the recording of getting the footage for this video, I, I have never went to the garbage section of the map, the trash, like the fallen over trash cans in the back corner of the map. I have never been there over 200 hours in the game, and there was so much unique stuff and a brand new creature type I've never seen before, only unique to that area. And that's after 200 hours of grinded. I'm still finding areas for the first time and new enemies. That's amazing. But it's hard to feel that sense of adventure in the modern world, as everything may seem as if it's been invented or discovered already, and that feeling isn't incorrect to feel. It's because mostly it's true, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't explore it for your own self and your own benefit. The other day, I just realized while going to the bathroom that, oh my god, if I really wanted to, I could go literally anywhere on Earth. As I was peeing, I thought of this. Now, I, I know at 24, the thought of that might sound stupid. To actually comprehend how long it might take for me as a human in my imagination with those places, what they might look like or what they might feel like to be in, I feel like I can point in a direction in my room and say, oh, if I headed in that direction for hours on a plane, I could maybe find that place and that looks wonderful there. And it's... It's simple little things like that that creates a sense of wonder to me. And from growing up in my life, I was constantly put down, but inside of my own head, it's it's more of the same thing. But granted, when I play it, it makes me forget all of that and just makes me feel special as, as a person. I'm the only one in this garden alone with bugs. I'm considered insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but I feel as if that's not much different from actual life. As a 24 year old man still living with his parents with no hopes or dreams. It's pretty hard for me to feel pride in a lot of the things I do, but that's also the main reason why it's also really hard to make some of these videos. But in that, the little world of Grounded can make you feel so many emotions while just exploring it. Running around the garden only to explore it, to be only chased by a spider during the night, or just view the environment and take in the scenery and forget about life for a while. And sure, while you're in the garden, no one knows you exist, shrunk and done, but, but you do. You're the only one that knows what you do matters here, to you in this little garden. This little garden is what you will soon to call home. I go to ground it any time I feel rough in my life, as I, it always makes me feel better. Like, and it's a combination of the music, the lighting, the adventure, the suns, the bugs, ah! Oh, it's, it's all just so wonderful to experience, and truly there's no game out there that will let you experience something so realistic in such a cartoony way. You will literally never feel that in another game quite as well as grounded. If you have hard moments in your life and you're possibly too old, sat alone in your room somewhere feeling sorry for yourself, give grounded a try. I guarantee, I actually guarantee after a few hours without looking at any videos or, or guides or wikis, uh, you'll get back to your old ways and start feeling like a kid again. Just adventuring, not searching up on the internet. You'll just feel great again. Everybody wants to grow up when they're young. But that for me is a mistake, as there is beauty to be had from being curious towards everything. It's in our nature as human beings to be curious, and Grounded is the perfect world to be curious in. Thank you for listening to me ramble on about how I find Grounded to be the greatest game at making you feel like a kid again. I know it's hard to be happy in the modern day with how much negativity is spoke about as we are drawn to it, but if we live in negativity, we ourselves will become the negativity in the world too. This has been me, Charzit, aka Ryan. Thank you for watching. I have other videos in the works. If you've enjoyed this, please do consider subscribing to support the channel. I, I'm, I'm really new to these types of video formats. This is my fourth attempt, and I'm trying what I think is fun. I don't want to copy other YouTubers and their styles or formats. I just want to do my own thing. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Go and play Grounded.